Rawlings has always focused its batting helmet designs around protection. Uh, we always want to be the most protected helmets in the market. In 1992, we started with the MPH helmet, which provided increased protection for players. Um, in 2008, we launched the, uh, the S100, um, which provided increased protection up to 100 miles an hour for players. In 2012 and 2013, now we're launching the S100 Pro Comp, um, which is a successor to the S100, providing the same level of protection in a smaller, lightweight package. No helmets can prevent concussions, uh, but the S100 Pro Comp can greatly reduce the energy felt by an impact uh, from a baseball. Uh, we've been able to reduce that energy felt by 75% from a 100 mile an hour pitch speed. Rawlings develops all its batting helmets to meet the NOXIE standard. NOXIE is the governing body for athletic equipment in terms of performance standards. Um, the NOXIE batting helmet standard equates to a 68 mile an hour pitch speed. Uh, for the S100 Pro Comp, we designed it to meet that NOXIE standard um, at a level of 100 miles an hour pitch speed. So we're greatly exceeding the NOXIE standard in terms of performance. So with the S100 Pro Comp, uh, our target goal was to meet the same size and weight of the original uh, traditional helmet the players are used to. Um, so with this helmet, we're only about an ounce heavier um, and we're only 6% larger in terms of volume. So really we're providing a 100 mile an hour protection uh, in a much smaller package than, than the players were expecting. So when you look inside the S100 Pro Comp, you'll see it's quite a bit different from the traditional shell players are used to in terms of construction. Uh, you can see the shell is made of carbon fiber. Uh, you can see we've beefed up the foams to, to increase the impact absorption um, and provide a, a higher protection level. Um, when you look at them side by side, you can really see a kind of a drastic difference. Um, the shell's much stiffer, much stronger, the padding's much better. Uh, it all just adds up to a much more protective helmet in the same size, shape, weight uh, that the players are used to. Some of the player feedback, uh, it's all been positive. Uh, we went to spring training in, in 2012 to kind of fit the players, um, to talk them through the helmet, you know, describe the differences, uh, show them the size differences, the weight difference. Um, Everything was very positive. The players liked the helmet, it's comfortable. Um, we sent out the initial 300 helmets and we immediately had orders for uh, additional players that wanted that protection. They saw the improved size and weight compared to the original S100 helmet. Um, and that really wasn't any different than what they're wearing currently. Rawlings has always strived to be the head protection experts, not only in baseball, but also in football. Two years ago, we launched a new Rawlings football helmet called the Quantum. Um, and just in those two years, we've had 125 NFL players adopt Rawlings helmets. Um, and now in 2013, we're launching the S100 Pro Comp uh, for all MLB players. MLB came to us, um, they liked what we did with the S100, uh, but they obviously wanted a, a better, more refined version. Um, so they kind of challenged us to meet the current traditional shell uh, size, weight, profile um, with the same 100 mile an hour protection of the S100. Um, so we were able to meet the size profile, the weight profile, um, and still provide that 100 mile an hour protection with the S100 Pro Comp.